हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रोसीजर ऑफ द आर्टिफिशियल बिकोलॉनी एल्गोथम इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव गोन थ्रू विद द बेसिक इंप्लीमेंटेशन बेसिक फिनोमिना और एक्सप्रेशन टू डिजाइन द आर्टिफिशियल बिकोलॉनी एल्गोथम्स एंड द स्टेप्स और एंड शुड कोड ऑफ द ए बी सी एल्गोथम ओके बट इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल गो थ्रू विद अ सिंपल एग्जाम्पल इन विच we will explain each and every step of the artificial bicolony algorithm so that you may better understand the working of the artificial bicolony algorithm abc algorithm okay so so in abc algorithm we have two common control parameters one is the swarm size the swarm size basically is the half of the colony size here in this example we have a colony size 6 so the swarm size will be 3 and another control parameter is the limit so the limit is the basically multiplication of the swarm size and the dimension of the problem which is going to be solved here the problem which is going to be solved is fx equals to x1 square plus x2 square x2 square plus x2 square very simple problem here and the unknown parameters in this problem is x1 and x2 x1 and x2 so the dimension of the problem is 2 because we have two unknown parameters okay this is a minimization problem and the such space such range of these two parameters is same minus 5 to 5 means for minus 5 is the lower bound and 5 is the upper bound okay so we have a two dimension problem which is going to be solved by the abc algorithm swarm size is 3 so 3 into 2 equals to 6 so the limit for this code b will be 6 we can also calculate limit l equals to cs multiply colony size multiply by dimension upon 2 equals to 6 so we have 6 <coughs> uh, limit and two dimension and this is the our mathematical modeling of the problem that is going to be solved and this is the such space so all these things which is required to be apply for the abc algorithm so we have a swarm size 3 it means colony size divided by 2 so we have here three employed bees and three onlooker bees in this abc algorithm and as we know that in abc algorithm we have four phases first is the initialization phase second is employed bee phase third is onlooker bee phase and fourth is scout bee phase okay so the first phase which is common in all the swarm intelligence based algorithms that is the initialization phase so we and randomly initialize the swarm size in the given search range minus 5 to 5 we have a three swarm here so we initialize that so first is the x0 0 this is x01 x10 x11 x 20 x 21 okay so there is two dimensions and three swarm we put the value of this variables x 01 and x 0 sorry x 00 and x 01 in this function x1 this is the x1 basically 1.4 is and minus 2.5644 this is x2 when we will put the value of these two variables in this function we will get the value of f fx so here we have three values of the this objective function so these are the objective values fx 0 fx 1 and fx 2 okay respectively we will get the objective values and by using these objective values as this is the minimization problem we will calculate the fitness okay so if the objective value is greater than 0 okay then the fitness of their solution will be 1 upon 1 plus fi otherwise for the negative objective value it will be the summation 1 plus sum 1 will be added to the absolute value of that objective value in this way we will get the fitness vector so these are the three fitness vector fit 0 fit 1 and fit 2 respective to the three swarm in the initialization phase we may know that this the third solution is the best one as the objective will value is very low among the available 
available individuals or in this swarm 1.09 this is the minimum as it is a win minimization problem so third solution is best solution here and the fitness also we can uh, evaluate this using the fitness vector as the fitness of the third solution is highest 0.4 it is highest as compared to the remaining two so the maximum fitness value is this one and the quality of the best food source and this is the quality of the best food source now the iterative process of the abc algorithm will be start in the iterative process three phases embroid b phase on local b phase and the scout b phase will iteratively evaluate and improve the positions of the solutions so that they may reach to the our true solution or global optima okay so in first iteration the first employed b here v i j for the zeroth uh, here i will be zero and j j basically as we know that at a time only one dimension will be updated its position so here the that dimension is zero okay so one dimension zero dimension or in one dimension one dimension will directly copy it from this x i to in this v i x i is the basically parent individual parent solution okay parent solution that is going to update its position and we will this is the basically step size phi i j multiplied by x i j minus x k j okay here j is 0 x i is 0 k x i sorry i is 0 and k k is a randomly selected solution from this swarm here k is 1 as we have only 3 individuals in the swarm so first individual is going to update its position it means i equals to 0 k equals to 1 means the neighboring solution is the second one solution okay as the indexing is 0 1 and 2 so we will take the difference of these two individuals and multiply this random number phi that is the random number between minus 1 to 1 this is the basically step size and we will add this step to the zeroth dimension it means first dimension of the parent solution and hence in this way we will get the new solution here let's suppose phi is the 0 0.8 0 0.50 0. okay that is a randomly produced dimension and hence we will get the new solution so the second dimension minus 2.5644 it is same 2.5644 it is same the as in the first solution only the first any yani zeroth number of dimension is changed there so in place of 1.4112 we will get this one new dimension 2.1644 okay then we will calculate the objective value of this new sol this new solution by putting the value of this x1 and x2 into the objective function fx equals to x1 square plus x2 square and we will get this objective value and by using this objective value we will calculate the fitness here fitness is 0.0816 the previous fitness of first solution was 0.1045 0.1045 this was the previous fitness and the current fitness is 0.0816 that is the lower than the previous one so the solution 0 could not be improved increase the its trial counter so we will increase its trial counter here trial counter means its failure counter it means we have given a chance to that solution to increase its uh, to increase its position but that solution is failed to improve its uh, position okay now this is the basically greedy selection approach you know? this is the greedy selection approach but now in the second we will apply the same operation for the second solution here the selected randomly selected solution is second uh, k equals to 2 and randomly selected dimension is j equals to 1 or uh, in the similar way we will get the new solutions new solution we will get the objective value and calculate the fitness okay then again apply the greedy selection between the previous one and the new solution and we know we came to know that the uh, the fitness of the previous solution is better than the current fitness so the solution also could not be improved 
and its uh, tile counter will also be increased. Further, that uh, we, the same operation is applied on the third employed B. Here, we will get the fitness 0.4828. We will apply the uh, gauge selection between the previous and the existing uh, solution. Now, it is clear that the previous uh, the fitness of previous solution was 0.4764. That is lower than the current fitness 0.4828. So, here the solution 2 was improved and its dry counter we will set to 0. 0 means that solution is improved, okay. the chance is not failed, okay. that is why its uh, trial counter is 0. But if the chance is failed, then we will improve, increase the trial counter of a particular solution and the trial counter basically here that will be used in the scout B phase. This is the failure counter, we can say failure counter or trial counter. Okay, at the time of uh, scout B phase, we will use this failure counter to decide that the particular solution is abandoned, exhausted or not. Okay. So, hence, this is the our new swarm. Here, the first two individuals are same as per as per the previous swarm, but the third is improved. Okay. These are the new objective values and new fitness values. This is the complete employee B phase. Okay. This is the complete employee B phase. Here we also know that the tile count of first solution is 1, second solution is 1 and third solution is 0. Now, we will calculate a probability that is a function of fitness by using that fitness. Okay. We will get probability of a solution. In one look at B phase, only good solutions will give more chance to get update its positions. Here, we know that the number of update will be same as the number of swarm, number of individuals in this swarm. As the number of individuals in this swarm, swarm are 3, so the number of update will be 3, but here in this phase, we will give more chance to the better individuals and this is decided by this probability P i. This is decided by this probability P i. If here we will apply a condition that if probability P i is greater than random number 0 to 1, then that solution will be get that solution will get chance to update its position. Otherwise, that solution will not get chance. Okay. And if the number of chances is will be less than the number of update, then this cycle uh, the, uh, the we will again start giving chances from the initial solution. Let us suppose for the i equals to 2, the condition is true. True means the p i, the value of p i, the value sorry, this is 0, this is 1 indexing and this is 2. So, for this uh, uh, solution, uh, suppose, suppose that for this p i is uh, the condition that p i is greater than random number 0 to 1 is false. For this also, the condition is false, but for this one, the condition is true, then we will give chance this uh, solution i equals to 2 because this is i equals to 1, sorry 0, this is i equals to 0, this is i equals to 1, this is i equals to 2 indexing. You know? So, for i equals to 2, we will get the new solution, it is we will here also we will get the new solution uh, in a similar way as mentioned in the employed B phase. It means v i equals to v i j equals to x i j plus phi i j x i j minus x k j. Okay. Then we will get the fitness objective value and fitness and this this is the fitness of this new solution. Then we will apply the GD selection here the uh, fitness of the previous solution was 0 0.48 while the fitness of the current solution is 0 0.16. So, the solution 2 could not be improved and this trial counter will be increased. Now, the trial counter of the third solution will also be 1. Okay, then in the next chance, let's suppose the second uh, indexing solution i equals to one. The condition is true. It means pi is greater than the random number zero to one for this solution also. Then we will give chance to this solution to update its position. Okay. Here, this is the objective value and this is the fitness value. Here, the fitness value of this current solution is greater than the previous solution. So, solution 1 is improved 
and we again reset the trial count of the solution to zero. It means in the previous uh, uh, phase, amplitude phase, trial count of this solution was one, but now we will reset it to zero as the solution has improved its position. Okay, hence we will get uh, these three solutions. We will get the three solutions here. These are three swamp size and three fitness vectors. Third one looker B for I equals to 2. Again, the third solution is getting chance. Again, okay. Now it is clear from this that the first solution, it means I equals to 0 index solution, will not get chance to update its position because it is difficult that the condition PI, probability PI is greater than random number 0 to 1 is true for their solution. So, again, we are giving second chance to this. Uh, third solution in the onlooker B phase and you may know that the uh, fitness of the new solutions in this updation is better than so it is again approved and we will reset the count uh, counter is zero so again it was in the first uh, uh, in, uh, updation in the first updation it, it the trial counter was one okay we have increased the trial counter but here we again reset it to zero. So now only for the zero solution or first solution, the tile counter is one. For the remaining, it is zero. Okay, and the best solution is this one. The third one is the best solution. As fitness is highest here, and objective value is lowest. This is the objective value. This is lowest. And this the fitness is highest. So this is the best solution, and this is the situation of the tile counter, and here we know that the limit is 3 and no one trial counter no one solutions associated trial counter crosses that limit it means the maximum value is one only so we will not call the scott b phase and then retention counter will be increased again this uh, employed b and one local b phase will performed okay and trial counter values will be updated and once the trial counter cross the limit assigned limit on that case that solution is considered as the evident solution adjusted solution stuck solution stagnated solutions okay in that case the solution is randomly initialized in the given search space okay friends so basically this was the uh, step by step procedure ABC artificial B colony algorithm. Here we understand that we have swarm size. Swarm size is the basically main control parameter in the ABC algorithm. Okay, limit is calculated on the basis of swarm size and dimension of the problem. So it is a very simple algorithm. We have to set only the swarm size. Thanks, friends.